I was always a great lover of jazz and blues in particular and always was around the jazz scene as a, as a fan of, of, of jazz. And so I got to know all the jazz musicians. Among the jazz musicians that I got to know um, uh, were Jack Bruce and Ginger Baker. And they knew I was... By the time it got to 1965 and we did the Albert Hall thing with Ginsberg and Ferlinghetti and, and all those people, then my, I was reasonably well known on the was sort of cultural beat, whatever you like to call it, scene. And everyone knew that I loved music and was a big fan. And so that was when Ginger got in touch and said, hey, we've formed this band called Cream. Do you want to come and help us out with some lyrics? You know, we think it might be a good idea. So that was another great big jump. Um, after the Albert Hall, I was in regular work for the first time in my life, probably. Uh, um, I, I had gone deliberately professional I, I, because I realised, well, I felt that I, I didn't want to do anything else but perform and write. So I, I abandoned all other forms of support in about 1960. Um, got the occasional job I mean, casual job, including helping build the Indica bookshop with Paul McCartney, because Barry Miles was a friend of mine and he asked me to help. Um, and the last known job that I had, I think, was as, a, as a, an assistant chef in a bistro in Chalk Farm, which was ahead of its time and became a laundrette. <laughs> um, and... Um, and then because of the Albert Hall thing and because I was getting around quite a bit and the name was about, then I think that was one of the things that prompted Ginger to ask me to, to, to think about working with Cream and uh, the rest is history, really. Uh, yeah, that's the way it happened.